You are listening to Catholic Family Podcast. This is Kevin Davis of the Catholic Family Podcast, and we have a very special edition of Catholic Family Trivia today, coming from my brother William up in the Minor Seminary in Idaho in the States. And he's doing it for a very special reason, because the boys, or most of them in the Minor Seminary, are visiting Europe and going on pilgrimage to Rome and also to the shrine of Our Lady of Alt Utting in June. Now, I don't know if all of the boys are going to do the long march to Alt Utting, but I know my brothers will. And they are looking for a little bit of help. I know it's last minute, but they need just a little bit more funds in order to be yeah, comfortable in their trip. So I know I just asked for money for the podcast, so I apologize for coming right back and asking for more, but it is for a good cause. These young men who are minor seminarians who are testing at a young age the possibility of the priestly vocation and good boys, all as far as I know. I, you can ask Father Philip. I'll, I'll check to make sure they're all good boys and that they're going to stay at my house, so they better be. Um, and again, they're just looking for a little bit of help, a little bit of, um, yeah, we would we'd say drink money here in Germany, but I don't know if that's that's quite appropriate. <laughs> More like, um, yeah, spending money for maybe trinkets or German chocolate or, or maybe it's Italian cheese or whatever it is. I imagine since they're traveling with Father Philip, there won't be a whole lot of drinking involved. Um, no worries to the parents out there. Um, but please, William is going to, yep, he's going to run through the trivia here tonight. It's about 20 minutes long. It's a little bit of a bit different format than we've done in the past. He's going to ask a question and then give a few seconds and just give you the answer. So not quite like we've done before. So the answer will come directly after the question. And then I think I believe there are 20 questions and 10 extra at the end. This is a Catholic quiz, but eh, there's a little bit of history thrown in as well, because, well, I think William just likes history. So he mixed it in there with the Catholic trivia, which is obviously totally fine. And I hope everyone listening enjoys the podcast. Please donate to their cause. Help these young men out. And I, I, and I know if you help them out, they will definitely pray for you and for your intentions as they walk to these holy places in Rome and also in Germany. Enjoy. Hello, this is William Davis from St. Joseph Minor Seminary in Rathdrum, Idaho. I'll be giving today, as I'm sure that Kevin has already mentioned, a trivia, a Catholic history trivia more specifically. There will be 30 questions and 10 extra bonus questions. The 10 bonus questions will be a little bit more difficult than the others are supposed to be, and the main 30 will be varying in difficulty. I hope you enjoy. I'll give about 20 to 30 seconds between each question to make sure that you have the proper answer, what you think is the proper answer, and then I'll give the answer that I got from these books that I used for this information. Number one, how many apostles were present at our Lord's transfiguration? No pressure. The answer is, there were three. Saints Peter, James, and John. All right, and number two. What is the oldest religious order of the church? Warning, don't overthink this one. The answer is the Benedictines, established by, you guessed it, St. Benedict. Number three. Who was the first Roman emperor to widely persecute Christians? Hint, this was the emperor who ordered the execution of Saints Peter and Paul at Rome. And the answer is Emperor Nero, who lived from 37 to 68 AD. Number four, who led the Norman invasion of England in 1066? The answer is William the Conqueror, Duke of Normandy, which, just in case you haven't wondering, is one of the reasons I chose this particular question. It's because of my namesake. Number five. Who led the English part of the Third Crusade in 1204? And the answer is King Richard I. Number six. 
who discovered the Pacific Ocean. Watch out, this one's a pretty trippy one. The answer is Balboa. Number seven, what are the sacraments of the dead? Be careful with this one. The answer is baptism and confession, but not extreme unction. Baptism and confession gives one the state of sanctifying grace who did not have it, while extreme unction is simply an increase of sanctifying grace. Number eight. What is the sacrament which women cannot partake? And the answer is holy orders. Number nine. Who won the Battle of Lepanto? Hint. This character is very, very famous in modern romance literature. The answer is the Catholic League forces under Don Juan of Austria. And number 10. Who ruled the Roman Empire at the time of the birth of Jesus? And the answer is Augustus Caesar, previously Octavius, successor of Julius Caesar. Number 11. Why was Frederick II, the Holy Roman Emperor, called Barbarossa? Hint, Barbarossa does have an etym etymology which is the answer to this question. The answer is red beard. Frederick II literally did have a red beard, which earned him the nickname Barbarossa. And number 12. What king is named Cour de Leon, or the Lionhearted? The answer is the man who we met in number 5, Richard I of England, who was known as the Lionhearted. Number 13. The Spanish conquered Mexico under what famous leader? And the answer is Hernando Cortez in the 1521. Number 14. Which Roman emperor ended once and for all the Roman persecutions of Christians? Hint. The act which ended these persecutions was called the Edict of Milan. The answer to 14 is Constantine the Great. Question number 15. On what days of the week are the joyful mysteries of the rosary prayed? And the answer is Mondays, Thursdays, and Sundays in Advent. Number 16. Who is called the Apostle of Germany? And the answer is St. Boniface. Number 17. Who founded the Order of Friars Minor? The answer is St. Francis of Assisi. Number 18. Who was known as the Maid of Orleans? The answer to 18 is St. Joan of Arc. Number 19. Who was the first martyr after the death of Jesus? Hint. His feast day is celebrated the day after Christmas. And the answer is St. Stephen. Number 20. Who is known as the Angelic Doctor? The answer is St. Thomas Aquinas. Number 21. Who created the novels on the famous priest and detective, Father Brown? And can you give his full name? And the answer is G.K. Chesterton, whose full name is Gilbert Keith.
Chesterton. Number 22, and this is a hard one. What is the Pentateuch? I'll repeat it again. What is the Pentateuch? Think Old Testament. And the answer is, the Pentateuch is the first five books of the Bible written by Moses. They are Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. On to a bit more of an easy one. 23. Who built the ark for the deluge? And can you name at least one of his sons? The answer for the first part, of course, is Noah. And his sons are Chem, Sem, and Japheth. Number 24. What language did Jesus speak on earth? Hint, it was the common language of Palestine at that time. And the answer is Aramaic. Although most everyone at that time knew some Greek, Latin was not prominent, and in Palestine, Aramaic was the dominant language. Number 25. What does the word Christ mean? And the answer is, Christ means the anointed one. Number 26. What is a Beretta? The answer is, the hat that a priest wears processing in or out of the sanctuary at Mass. Although hat is not exactly the proper term, which is why it has a fancy word, Beretta. Number 27. Who are the three angels mentioned by name in the Old Testament? The answer is St. Gabriel, St. Raphael, and St. Michael. And real good bonus points if you can name what their names mean. That's one that I'm not entirely sure of. But moving on. Number 28. What saint is believed to have sailed to America from Ireland in the early ages? The answer is St. Brendan. St. Brendan from Ireland. Number 29. What day of the year is known as Maundy Thursday? And the answer is Holy Thursday in Holy Week is also known as Maundy Thursday. And, last but not least, number 30. Who wrote the famous line, quote, Abandon all hope, ye who enter here, unquote. To hint, his book is in three parts, and it was written in the 1300s. And the answer is, Dante Alighieri, in his book of the Inferno and the Divine Comedy. And, just for your information, comedy does not mean something that is funny in this context. It means something where the character starts out in a worse place than he ends up. So a comedy, in this case, does not mean something that you laugh during. But moving on. So that is the end of the main 30 questions. How did you do? I hope you did well. Some of these were admittedly pretty difficult, such as the Pentateuch. And some of them were not so difficult. But now I have a little bonus segment for anybody who is interested in trying to answer these questions, which are a little bit harder, I think, in a whole than the main 30 questions. And here they are. Bonus question number one. What battle is John Sobieski remembered for? I'll give you a big hint. He was Polish king. And the answer is, John Sobieski is famous for the raising of the Siege of Vienna in the late 1600s. Next question. Number two, 
To which religious order did St. Bernard of Clairvaux belong? This one might be a bit more difficult. But the answer is the Cistercian order. Number three. Which evangelist did not write his gospel in Greek? And the answer is St. Matthew. St. Matthew wrote his gospel in Aramaic and not in Greek as the other three evangelists did after him. Bonus question number four. What is the only day of the year that the church publicly prays for those outside her fold? And the answer is, on Good Friday, during the Traore Liturgy. Bonus question number five. What does the word Golgotha mean? And hint, Golgotha is Hebrew for Calvary. And the answer is, Golgotha means the skull. And it is called the skull because it is believed that the skull of Adam was underneath that hill right outside of Jerusalem. Bonus question number six. In whose tomb was Jesus buried? And the answer is, Jesus was buried in the tomb of Joseph of Arimathea. Number seven. In what languages were the words, Jesus, King of the Jews, written on the cross? And the answer is, Hebrew, Greek, and Latin. Number eight. What king of the crusader state of Jerusalem was known as the leper king? Hint, he was made famous by the book Crusader King. And the answer is King Baldwin IV. Number nine. What pope was St. Charles Borromeo's uncle? This one's more difficult. And the answer is Pope Pius IV. And last, but not least, of the bonus questions after the main segment, name one kind of animal that Moses brought seven of on the ark. It is mentioned in the Bible. And the answer None. Moses did not bring any animals on the ark. Noah did. I hope you enjoyed that last question. Figured I'd throw in something that was a little bit less serious, and a bit less daunting than some of the other ones. Those are all of my questions. I hope you enjoyed this trivia. And perhaps someday I'll be able to do it again. You've been listening to the Catholic Family Podcast. If you enjoyed this show, please share it with your friends and family. You can support the production on Patreon and PayPal, and you can reach Kevin at kevin89davis at gmail.com. Ad maiorem Dei Gloriam. All for the greater glory of God.